Fusion energy is the process that powers the sun and all of the other stars in the universe. In fusion, you take small atoms like hydrogen, you smash them together really hard, they combine, they fuse into helium, and that releases a bunch of energy. It's actually the opposite of a fission process where you take a big atom like uranium, you split it into two smaller pieces, which also releases a bunch of energy. In fusion, the really hard part is to smash the atoms together hard enough that they fuse. To get them to, to collide and fuse together, you need to get them really, really hot. And anything that is that hot, something like 100 million degrees, the temperature of stars, is something we call a plasma. And this is the fourth state of matter. Normally, we think of three states of matter. You have a solid, where these atoms are stuck together. They don't really move very much. You have a liquid, where the atoms are still close to each other, but they move around a bit. And you have a gas, where the atoms are kind of like flying around. But if you make that even hotter, you form a plasma, where you separate the electrons from the nucleus, the center of the atom, and you separately have these electrons and nuclei kind of moving around in this soup. And that really, really hot gas, this ionized gas, we call a plasma. That happens at something like 10,000 degrees, depending on uh, which material you have. And there's actually a lot of plasmas here on Earth. Lightning is a plasma. Neon signs actually have a tiny little bit of plasma. And the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, is an example of a plasma. So why are we working on fusion as an energy source? It turns out there are a bunch of advantages. First, it doesn't emit any greenhouse gases. The only byproduct is helium. Helium is safe, it's not toxic, it's not a greenhouse gas. You can suck it up and make your voice sound funny. You put it in a balloon, um, it's like very safe to release into the environment. The fuel for it is effectively like water and lithium. So there's plenty of fuel all around the world that you can use to do fusion. There's enough fuel for you know, thousands of years of all of civilization's needs. And the other advantage is that it doesn't require a lot of land or a lot of area. You can build a very compact machine that can power a city. And so it's a great way of complementing other renewable energy sources like wind and solar. And it's on when you need it to be. You can turn the plant on, you can turn the plant off. It produces electricity when you need electricity. There are all of these advantages of fusion energy. Why don't we have it working yet? It turns out it's really challenging. So there's a scientific community around the world that's been working on this for decades. And it's actually at a point now where in addition to government-funded labs and universities, there's now a number of private companies around the world that have gotten involved in fusion and are really working to take it the final step from something that we understand in a lab to a commercial product that's on the grid making electricity for everyone.